All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the Technus Corner. Today is the 3rd, the 3rd of June, 2023. And I'll tell you what, I am steaming. It's about time we picked up our axes, our pickaxes, our stakes, whatever you call it, because it's time to shed some truth, y'all. Fanboyism has to be placed aside for today. That does not matter. And I'll tell you why if you want to listen. But since you clicked on this, you've listened for this long, stay for the rest and leave your comments on your thoughts after the fact or in between. Because in recent times, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong has come under scrutiny for making misleading claims that have significant implications for the gaming industry. This video aims to shed light on the deceptive practices employed by NVIDIA and their potential impact. Additionally, it explores the missed opportunities for NVIDIA's primary competitor, AMD, in capitalizing on these tactics. Jensen Wong has developed a reputation for consistent dishonesty, leading some to consider him the chief priest of a lying cult of lies. NVIDIA's misleading statements encompass various aspects, including pricing strategies, product positioning, and the future of gaming. Despite NVIDIA's questionable practices, AMD has failed to effectively leverage the opportunity presented by their competitors' misleading tactics. This inexplicable incompetence on AMD's part poses risks not only to the company, but also to the gaming community and the industry as a whole. There is a disheartening trend suggesting NVIDIA's gradual neglect of the gaming sector. Rather than prioritizing the needs of the gaming community, NVIDIA appears to be shifting its focus towards other areas such as AI and data centers. This shift raises concerns about the future of gaming and the level of support gamers can expect from NVIDIA. One of the most contentious issues surrounding NVIDIA is its pricing strategies. The company's adoption of exorbitant prices, particularly for gaming products, has left gamers with limited options. High-end offerings like the 3000 Australian dollar 4090s cater only to a select few, highlighting NVIDIA's disregard for the majority of its user base. NVIDIA's flagship 80 class cards such as the 4080, have failed to live up to gamers' expectations. Despite their undeniable power, these cards fall short of their true potential. NVIDIA's claim that the 4080 is only marginally better than the previous generation's top-tier card is misleading. By comparison, the 2080 boasted a significant 70% performance increase over its predecessor, revealing NVIDIA's overwhelming progress. Jensen Wong's contradictory statements further erode his credibility. In one instance, he attributed high GPU prices to the demise of Moore's Law and the lack of cost-effective node shrinks. However, later proclaimed that Moore's Law was still alive and running at twice its previous pace. Such inconsistencies raise doubts about the veracity of NVIDIA's claims and the transparency of a company with its customers. NVIDIA emphasizes on AI and its role in the company's future raises concern about the gaming community's interest. While AI enables real-time ray tracing, Jensen Wong assertion that it is the most critical aspect of RTX technology is questionable. AMD has successfully implemented ray tracing without relying heavily on AI, contradicting NVIDIA's claims. The tech industry, particularly the gaming community, must remain vigilant in the face of misleading claims and deceptive practices. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong has repeatedly demonstrated inclination for dishonesty, posing risks to consumers and competitors alike. AMD has a golden opportunity to seize the moment and establish itself as a strong player in the gaming market by offering competitive mid-tier graphic cards at affordable prices. AMD can cater to the majority of gamers and fill the void left by NVIDIA's neglect. The future of gaming hangs in the balance, emphasizing the need to hold companies accountable and prioritize the needs of the gaming community. Let's hope for increased competition that benefits gamers, while also reminding companies of the importance of honesty, transparency, and prioritizing the needs of the gaming 
community. And that about all sums up my thoughts and a lot of other people's thoughts on this day, which is the 3rd of June, 2023. Uh, Computex has just come to a rather odd conclusion and or is concluding per se. I'm guessing all the after parties are busy currently, but I don't know if you guys got something out of this. Hopefully it starts to open your eyes that we got a, we got it for a number of years, really drill it into NVIDIA because what happens is it's a trickle down effect or trickle, trickle up effect where the good name on NVIDIA will last for the enterprise level now and for the people making those executive decisions, right? And if we can tarnish that reputation now um, and it's tarnished because of themselves and NVIDIA's sake, um, in the gaming sector, when there are other options later on down the line, we may not be as inclined to go Team Green anymore, okay? And we shouldn't. I prefer a 33% breakup in the market sector. Um, that would be great. That's still better than what it is currently in the GPU space. So my name is Seb Luca. Thanks for joining us at another Overclocked on Tech Report. And peace out. Bye.